This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. The sniffles, the stuffies, the scratchy throat, they all, well, they all stink this time of year. Yeah, you ain't kidding. And they all leave us wondering, am I sick? Is this all allergies? It's really hard to tell this time of year, am I right? You are right. So to help us decipher the difference, we brought in Anastasia Deem and Dr. Scott Sweeney, who see patients at Tidal Health Primary Care in Berlin. Thank you both for joining yeah, us yeah, this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. So I imagine it's it's something you see a lot of this time of year, that, trying to tell the difference between being sick and having allergies. Is there a way to know? Well, the patients will tell you because uh, most patients have allergies and they can really tell the difference. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's the time of year, you know, when you see the trees starting to blossom and the itchy eyes, the scratchy throat, and, uh, and they're not really sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's really pretty easy if you just listen to what the patient tells you, they'll tell you. It's but I mean, what it, you know, I didn't start getting allergies until like a couple years ago. Is that common? Do people move here and all of a sudden they have allergies? You can get an allergy any time in your life. Uh, I've seen 80 year old patients come in with allergies. I've never had allergies before. Wow. Huh. It can happen any time. Well, interesting. That's really interesting. So it's situations like this that you guys can tackle there at Primary Care in Berlin. And Dr. Sweeney, that's why it's always important to have that primary care physician available. Yeah, I mean, that's the place where patients start off. You know, I mean, we are their hub. And, uh, and if they need to get to a specialist, then they can do it through us. But we try to make the right call, the right diagnosis up front so that we get them in the proper space, proper specialist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Anna, I know you guys try to make it easy for patients because sometimes it's just such a bother to make an appointment, go in, mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so patients can go on titlehealth.org mm -hmm and make an appointment themselves. Mm -hmm. So they can find their primary care provider if they have one and make an appointment to the time that suits best for them. Or if they don't have a primary care provider, they can also sign up for an appointment as a new patient. Okay. And that website also allows you to sign up at many other locations, not just the ones in Berlin. Correct. So you can search um, Tidal Health at any locations where we provide services, which mm -hmm. is in Berlin, Salisbury, Nanakoke, and other ones. That's awesome. And uh, with technology now helping us out, it's really helpful, especially with uh, medical records. Yes. So in Tidal Health, we use electronic medical record called EPIC, okay. which is great. We have been using it for a few years now. Mm -hmm. It allows for providers to stay connected. So as a primary care provider, I can see notes from specialists. I can see records from emergency room, mm -hmm. from hospital stays. So I always know what's going on with my patients, what has been done, what needs to be followed up on. Another great thing about um, our electronic medical record system is not only we are connected within our title health system, mm -hmm. but we're all also connected with other major organizations like Johns Hopkins, University of Maryland. So it's very easy um, to get those records and see what was done um, already for our patients. Mm -hmm. and, and talk to us a little bit about e-check-in. What is that? So e-check-in allows a patient to go on their my chart um, and check in prior to their visit a few days in advance. So they can review housekeeping documents that we make patients sign at every visit. They can review them, sign them, they can update their personal information, their insurance, and then when they come in for their appointment, all they have to do is say hi, yeah. uh, that they're there, and it makes the process a lot uh, faster and more convenient for them. And I, I imagine it's, it's just easier to know, I mean, doctor, from a doctor's point of view, just just go see the doctor, find out what's going on, and, and get it taken care of. Oh, yeah. No, that's, uh, Anna put it really well. You know, we're really prepared to take care of people in a, in a new high-tech fashion, and mm -hmm. uh, patients appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting used to it. You're getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> used to it. <laughs> Tino Health, Anastasia Deem, and Dr. Scott Sweeney, thank you both thank for you. coming thank in you this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.